Hello there, we're back here again with your self-proclaimed best internet girl, Carmilla. Today, I've come across this game called The Test. It is an, not, not a game, but it's a social experiment that can be classified as an atmospheric psychological simulation with horror elements. It's kind of uh, questions, yes and no answers, and we're going to reveal things from deep within ourselves. So, without further ado, let's jump right to the game. Now, in order to begin, this is the most important part of this entire experience. You will be asked a series of questions and you must answer them honestly. Now, when I say answer them honestly, I don't mean answer them how you'd like to answer them. Answer them with truth, even if that's hard to face. We all want to be good people, rarely want to admit our faults, grievances or mistakes. But you must decide what you truly want. Do you want this to work properly? Do you want the truth about yourself, your destiny in this world? Or would you rather live a lie just to hide from yourself? The process is very simple in theory. Just answer a long series of questions. What's difficult is self-analyzing your own psyche to ev evaluate the truth in your own mind and life so that you can Predict your future. Okay. You see, as long as you're honest with these questions and answers, you'll be able to see your own future here. This will tell you things you already know, but don't necessarily know that you know. Okay then, that's quite confusing of you to say. As long as the answers you provide to the questions asked are 100% honest and true, this process will simply unlock a part of your mind that you do not have natural access to. Okay, this isn't psych, this isn't a personality test, this is simply nature. This is you, this is your own mind, this is simply nature taking its course. This is the human brain at work unlocking hidden truths within itself. While attempting to answer many of these questions, you'll often wonder things like Well, this answer depends on the circumstances. Create your own circumstances in your mind and answer the questions with a simple yes or no as you see fit. You may not understand nor realize it, but your mind will develop the situation required to answer your questions the way it needs to be answered. I invite you to grab a drink of water, sit back, relax, and enjoy the experience. We are about to begin with a series of questions and provide and provided that your willing participant will be unlocking some substantial information today. Here we go. Would you be alright with living alone forever? I like to be myself, so yes, I would like it. Do you like the color blue more than the color black? Nope, as you can see, I like my blacks. Thank you. If you found money on the street and knew who it belonged to, would you give it back to them? Yes, I would absolutely give it back to them. Are you sure you want the answers you seek? I don't know. Am I sure about this? Maybe. Um. Perhaps. It's kind of in between yes and no. Um. Let's just say I would like to. Are you afraid of spiders? Yes! I am terrified of spiders. They're so creepy. Spider is the most creepiest creatures to 
walk around the earth. And that's that. It's not only my opinions. Many of people thought that way too, so... It's not me who's wrong here. If you knew you would emerge and skate, would you jump into molten lava? Um, well, if I could go and skate, maybe I would, just to see how. Would you consider yourself to be fat? Um, personally, I don't think myself to be fat, but my family members on multiple occasions told me that I'm fat, so I don't know. Let's just say no. Would you say that you have lots of charisma? People have told me that I have, but personally, for me, I don't think I have that charm. Do I? Let's just say no. Have you ever wished you could be temporarily frozen? Um, yes. Only temporarily? Because I... I am a curious person. I want to experience different things in life. So, yes. This is all very interesting. Do you realize that the last letter of the previous five questions when put together spell the name Satan? What? No. Does that make you uncomfortable? No. Are you good at finding hidden puzzles or clues? Well, I didn't find anything. So, no. Are you now wondering what other hidden messages are placed within these questions? Not really. Have you been entirely honest with your answers thus far? I guess so. Oh! Why? My mouse just move on their own. Are you afraid of the consequences for answering questions dishonestly? Not really. Are you aware that there could be potential consequences for answering dishonestly? No, I'm not aware of such things. Are you wondering how these questions began to take the strange stand? Yes, I'm wondering it myself. Would you consider yourself captivated? Not really. Very interesting. Would you consider yourself to be brave? I think so. If you follow me on Twitter, you know I recently pierced my own ears. Yeah. Without anesthetics or anything i did it because i thought it would be cool to have some more piercings so yes would you view yourself as someone with above average intelligence absolutely yes have you been looking for hidden messages in these questions Nope, I don't have the mental capabilities to find something hidden. Are you wondering which hidden messages you may have missed? Nope, not really. Have you begun to wonder how long this test will take or how many questions exist in this session? Um, yeah, I've been wondering so. Would you consider yourself to be a passionate person? Yes, I am. Do most humans annoy you? Do they? Yes, they do. Especially you. So yes. 
Do you prefer animals to people? Yes, because animals are very sincere and people tend to be more complicated. So yes. Do you believe in magic? No, they are only science. Do you believe in God or the existence of some form of higher power? I do believe in the existence of some form of higher power, but I don't know, I'm not really believing in the existence of... I don't really believe in religion, because I don't want to be doctrinated. Yeah, that's that's it. So I I do believe, but I I'm not a believer in some sort of yeah. I I I can't really explain. <laughs> so it's kind of yes. Do you fear death? No. If death happened, I would just it happens. Everybody dies. So. I uh, know. Are you attracted to someone whom you are not currently in a relationship with? No, nope. I'm not attracted to anyone currently. Did you answer that last question with a hundred percent honestly? Yes. Are you alone? Yes, I'm alone. Are you sure? Yes. If I told you with utmost certainty that there's something watching you, would you believe me? Would I believe you? Well, there is a camera here, so... Hmm, yes, I believe you. Yeah. Have you wondered who I am? No, not really. I'm pretty disinterested in people sometimes. Have you had shivers at any point during this session? No. It's pretty mundane, so... Do you feel like you're being watched? Yeah. Yes, I do feel that way. Have you considered quitting this session early? No. Do you drink water every day? Of course yet. Of course, yeah, the water's cool. Okay. Of course, yes, because water is very healthy. Drink two liters of water every day, kids. Yes. Do you eat at least once per day every day? Yes. Do you realize that you've missed seven hidden messages thus far? No, I don't realize anything. Do you realize that you just missed another one? Nope. Are you wondering what they were? Um, no. Would it bother you to never know without finding them yourself? No. Is your favorite number seven? No. My favorite number is the number of my birthday it is 13 so no life is short but it's the longest thing we'll ever do do you agree yes i do agree oranges cannot be compared to apples do you agree well they're different kind of fruits so yeah they're not the same Venus is sometimes referred to as the morning star. The morning star is not Venus. So... Is it true? So, it's a no. Everyone deserves a second chance, do you agree? Yes, everyone does. You can do anything you put your mind to. Do you agree? Um, well, yes, I agree. Obedience is more important than freedom. Do you agree? No, freedom is more important than obedience. 
I like my freedom. Underwater adventure sounds like a fun time. Do you agree? No! There are so many scary things underwater. Like the ocean. I don't want to see what's under there, so let it let us be ignorant. Did you realize that the first letters of the previous eight questions spelled the phrase I love you? No. Do you wish to be loved? Uh, I don't know. I'm pretty much... What's it said again? Being loved is kind of a burden for me. Because I don't want to have that sense of um, expectation. I don't want to disappoint people, so I'd rather not be loved and I can be whatever I want to be. Yeah, so. There's a burden of being lost. So, I'll, I'll just answer it now. Do you have any addictions? I do. Do you dislike the color pink? Yes, I hate the color pink very much. Does the color gray seem depressing? No, the color gray seems really clean and aesthetic do you enjoy loud music yes i enjoy music that i could scream myself into do you like to dance well in a sense yes would you consider yourself normal what is the measurements of being normal I consider myself as pretty weird in the head sometimes so it's a no do you love your parents it's a no. sorry have you ever been lied to multiple times do you get angry often do I get angry often? I tend to hide my feelings most of the time, but I have some anger issues, I guess. So, yes. Do you hold grudges? Yes. Have you ever forgiven someone? No. <laughs> Have you ever lied? Well, as a normal human being, is there anyone that never lied? So, yes, I'm normal. Do you think flowers are more beautiful than trees? Mm, yes. Have you ever wanted to be an animal instead of a person? No. Being a human being is better than being an animal because animal can't choose what they wanted. It's sort of... Uh, no. Do you believe you have psychic powers? I do believe so. Have you ever seen a ghost? Yes. Do you dream often? Do I dream often? No. Do you have nightmares often? No, not really. I used to have nightmares as a kid. Uh, it doesn't really come to me these days. Do you suffer from anxiety attacks? Yes. When I'm in a room full of people, I get anxious. Do you suffer from depression? I used to. 
But nowadays, I feel like it's getting better. But I don't know. Let's just say I do suffer from depression. Do you exercise often and stay active? No. I used to be, but I'm getting pretty mundane these days. Would you consider yourself emotionally wounded? Yes, I am an emotionally wounded child. Have you ever felt betrayed? Yes, multiple times. Do you ever feel lost in life? I feel that way now. Would you consider yourself a natural reader? No. If you could push your button and destroy the world, would you press it? No. Do you sometimes dream of being a hero? <laughs> no. I would rather be a villain than a hero. Have you ever been bullied? No, but I have bully another person have you ever bullied someone else yes would you consider yourself to be a dreamer yes i dream a lot you sometimes hurt people's feeling unintentionally yes do you find space fascinating no it's full of things that I don't know about, so I would rather avoid that if possible. Would you consider yourself to be an artist? Yes, I am. Would you consider yourself to be a good friend? No, I am not. Would you consider yourself to be flawed? Yes, I am really flawed. A flawed human being I am. Do you believe in perfection? No. I would rather live with flaws than be perfect. Have you ever stolen from someone? Um, have I? Well, as a child, I might have. I stole a puzzle from a friend, I think. I don't really remember if I've ever returned it to her. Would you ever kill someone under any circumstances? Yes, I would. If you had one day to leave, would you tell anyone? No, I would rather not tell anyone and be alone for the rest of that day that I have alone in this earth? Have you ever told your darker secrets to someone? No, let's keep it hidden. Do you trust me even though you know nothing about me? I trust no one. Do you know who I am? No, do you care to tell me who you are? If I appear behind you right now, would you scream? No, cause you wouldn't appear behind me. If I told you that I've been behind you this entire time, would that scare you? No. Would you consider yourself to be empathetic? Mm, let's just say no. Would you consider yourself to be romantic? No. I am not. Have you ever been in a physical fight? Have I? Yes, I have. I'm a brave young Asian lady. Are you prone to headaches? <laughs> headaches? Headaches? What? Are you prone to headache or migraines? No. I eat healthy. Do you look at the ground when you walk? I used to, but not anymore. Are you attracted to the opposite sex? To me, their gender doesn't matter. If they're attractive, I would be attracted to them. So, 
That's kind of yes. Would you ever shave your head for content? If I would gain so many views or something, I would. But if I don't see the value in them, I wouldn't. So, so yes. Are you attracted to muscular bodies? Yes, they're shaped to a perfection. So, do you ever dance when no one is looking? Yes. Do you trust your best friend entirely? No. As I said before, I don't trust no one. Do you remember your childhood extremely well? Mm, no. I've forgotten things like three days ago. So, no. Would you rob a bank if you could get away with it? Yes, I would. Do you ever dream about running from a killer? Yes. Do you ever dream about falling off a cliff? Yes. Do you ever dream about being naked in public? Yes. Do you enjoy scary movies or books? Yes. Do you enjoy comedic television shows or movies? It depends. But it's kind of more to yes. Do you like being the center of attention? No, I hate attention. Do you feel like something is always watching you? Sometimes. Well, not every time. So it's kind of a no. Have you ever wondered what it would be like to go to space? Yes. I've wondered that multiple times. Have you ever had an out-of-body experience? Yes. Have you ever punched a nun? Punch a nun? Are you crazy? No. Do you like dogs better than cats? I have two cats. Cats are superior. Remember that. <coughs> It's a no for me. Do you prefer to read more than you prefer to watch movies? I prefer to watch because reading really bores me. Are you still wondering why I asked you if you've ever punched a nun? Yes. Do you get starstruck easily? Nope. Do you hate going to big parties and social gatherings? Yes. Is your favorite part of your birthday receiving presents? Yes. Seriously though, have you ever punched a nun? Like, really? Just bam, right in the face. Nun punch. No, I would rather not do that. Did you laugh? No. Did you say what the fuck in your head or even loud? Yes. Are you now eager to somehow get the opportunity to punch a nun sometime soon? No, I would rather not. If there's a hell, do you think you're going to it? Yes. Do you enjoy fantasy fiction games? It depends, but I'm lean I'm leaning towards yes, so yes. Do you mess a bit frequently? Do you? Are you wondering what constitutes frequently? Yes. Are you more than slightly uncomfortable right now? No, well, not really. I'm alone in my own room answering yes and no questions from a video game. Is your mouth dry? No. I've had water. Does profanity make you uncomfortable? No. Do you believe in legendary beasts such as the Loch Ness Monster or Bigfoot? Uh, no. 
Are you poor with money management? Not really. Do you enjoy solving mathematical puzzles? Mm, no. Do you speak more than one language fluently? Yes, I do. Have you ever visited a country other than your own? Yes. Do you enjoy coffee? No, I would prefer tea than coffee. Do you believe in demons? Yes. Do you believe in angels? Buddha? Yes. Are you afraid of sharks? No. I would want to pet a shark sometimes in the future. Do you prefer baths over showers? Do I? Yes, I do prefer baths over showers. Does the smell of perfume of cologne give you a headache? Yes. Did you see that shadow move in your room a few moments ago? What shadow? It's only my own shadow, so no. Do you ever hear your name being called even when you know no one is calling it? Yes. Do things in your home often go missing and then reappear later? No. Do you ever hear footsteps around you when you're alone? No. The house that I'm living in right now isn't haunted. The previous house that I lived in is a haunted place because I hear multiple footsteps every now and then at night. Um, well. So, no, these days, do you ever hear random knocking noises around you? No. Do you often look at the same time on the clock every day? No, I don't look at the clock. Have you ever felt your feet being grabbed at night while sleeping? No, never. Do you have any pets? Yes, I have two lovely cats. Is your favorite color green? No, my favorite color is purple. Are you attracted to a family member? No. If you won the lottery, would you share the money with anyone? Would I? I feel like if I ever won the lottery, I will keep it to myself. And would I share with my family? Maybe so. Let's keep it a yes. If you could be the dictator of your own country, would you accept the rule? Yes. Do you ever wonder what it would be like to be in prison? Yes. Do you like fishing? No. Do you like hunting? No, I've never hunt things. I eat mostly plant-based, so no. Do you like camping? Yes. But I've never been camping before. <laughs> Do you like guns? Let's just say no. Are you getting tired of answering questions? Yes. Would you consider yourself to be kinky? Yes. Eyes are the window to the soul. Do you agree? Yes. Do you always keep your promises? A promise is something that you should keep. If you can't make promises, you shouldn't be making promise. 
what am I saying? So, if I have the mental capability to make a promise, then I would be keeping them. So yes. Would you ever completely trust someone who's lied to you? No. Nope. If they've done it once, they'll do it again. So it's a no. Are you an only child? No, I have my brother. Do you ever enjoy being drunk? Yes. Do you like tattoos? No, I don't like tattoos. Because I get easily bored. Do you enjoy being high in any form? Yes, I like to be high on spices. Do you believe you have a soul? Yes, I do believe everyone have a soul. Did you cry this week? Yes, I cried only yesterday playing the... What game is that? The Strain 2? <laughs> that game was so sad. So I cried. Are you upset with someone right now? Yes, I'm upset with you. Is there someone you're not being completely honest with daily? Yes. <laughs> Do you understand how this works? Yeah. No. If you answer the question twice, your truths may change. It's not just about answering the questions, it's about the time you spend answering them, the combination you answer them in. It's about many different variables you've never guessed. Do you understand? Yes? Are you wondering if the end of the test is coming soon based on the previous question you just answered? Yeah. If I were to tell you that this entire process was planted here for you, specifically you, to learn something about yourself and anyone else that bothers using this is just a byproduct of its intention, would you believe that? No. Are you afraid of being abandoned? No. Are you afraid of dying alone? No, I would rather die alone than be with someone else. Do you worry that one day you'll be unexpectedly murdered? Maybe, maybe so. Are you always on guard? Waiting to fend off an attack? Yes, I'm always on guard for everything. Do you feel like I know you yet? No, nope. that's not all of my story. Have you heard that any strange noises while answering these questions? No, I'm wearing a thick headphone. So, no. I think we have enough information about you. Whether you skip questions answered honestly or dishonestly, took lots of time to respond or answer quickly without reading or understanding properly, I've been able to tell. I'm calculating your results. I'm analyzing you very carefully. I'm judging you. Don't judge me! <laughs> Based on what you've told me, this is what I can conclude. Well, aren't you just a bucket of sunshine? It's incredible to me just how misunderstood you are. In fact, you're so misunderstood that you often don't even understand yourself. Sometimes you just do things. You just do stuff. Why? Because you do. You don't need a reason. You just act. Huh. This is not a bad thing, it's a matter of fact. This is such an amazing quirk that is so perfect to someone who might just be madly in love with you. Your spontaneity is a gift that can bring a smile to a miserable face and a crying heart. Do not lose this gift. With all of that being said, you are not where you want to be in life. You are not as happy as you lead on sometimes. 
and only those closest to you know how you really feel. Even then, they don't even truly know, do they? Whatever you do, do not give up. Success and happiness for you is just around the corner. It's one enormous push on your part. It will take a lot of work, but you absolutely, positively can make something happen. Just understand that if you stumble, it is not the end of the world. You're always one big breakthrough from something amazing. Keep at it for yourself and those around you. Your secret word is power. Remember this word. This will come in handy. So, I do things spontaneously, as the test suggests. Well, I do. I feel like I do things because I wanted to feel something. I want to emulate something that I haven't feel before. Yes, and I've really suffered from knowing what I wanted to do in life. It's kind of a trial for me to even do content creation, even though I am someone who's really shy. So I feel that's that. And I will keep empowering myself to be more of a person that I am. Okay then. I guess you know more about me right now. So I'll leave it at that. Thank you for watching. Stay safe. Wear a mask. Bye.